Hello class, this week we're going to introduce you to JavaScript, which is a scripting language that we're going to be using the rest of the week. We talked a little bit about HTML last week and um, introduced how you can use HTML to have uh, output to your users and, and basically format a page to show the information that you're interested in sharing out to the user. And this week we're going to talk about how to make those pages a little more dynamic and uh, be able to take information in and process that information using the JavaScript and then getting the result of that processing back out to the end users. So it's going to be kind of a busy week. There's a lot of really good information in W3 Schools and in the book. I'm going to go over some highlights here in the screencast, but uh, I encourage you to read carefully your readings this week and try to understand them as best you can. And I also encourage over the next few weeks to come back to these specific readings um, and uh, go over them again until they all make sense. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So I mentioned earlier that um, JavaScript is very useful in the processing of the information that you get from your end users inside of an HTML page. And it allows you to manipulate the data, do things to it, and get it back out to the user. And we're going to do that first. We're going to start by uh, bringing in a template. Now, we've talked briefly about templates before. And I recommend highly that you guys create one of these documents. And um, I'm going to change this to HTML so that we can see. Uh, make one of these template documents so that you can uh, start your pro projects out quickly. Uh, inside your thing, your templates, uh, you're going to have the main elements that we talked about before, the head and the body. And inside the head, there are two more that we're going to talk about this week. And one is called the style tag, and one is the script tag. We're going to focus mostly on the script tag. But I wanted to mention the style tag, which is where you can put your CSS that we talked about last week, well, that you were, were to read about last week. Um, if you want to learn more and mess around with CSS, the style tag is going to be the best place to do that, where you can put all your styles in one location. Um, here we have our script tag in the head. Now I guess at this point it's a good time to mention that with HTML5, this declaration saying that the type of script is JavaScript is no longer necessary. Uh, we make the assumption, or HTML5 makes the assumption that, HT, that in HTML5 that JavaScript is the default scripting language. And so if you don't specify scripting language, HTML5 assumes it's going to be JavaScript. So you don't need it. Uh, the other thing I want to mention here is you'll notice the script is inside the head. Um, the script actually can be located anywhere you want. You can have scripts inside the body as well, and you can have many scripts. Um, uh, you can have many script tags in your document if for whatever reason you want to have um, some scripts, then some HTML, then some more scripts, then some HTML. You're, you're more than welcome to do that. For most of what we're going to be doing in the class, you'll probably be fine putting most of the scripts up here. We will get into some uh, instances in the next few, in, in, in the later weeks, where you might want to have scripts throughout the body. But for most of what we're going to be doing, the scripts will work just fine uh, in the head. And it's important to note that, like we talked about with Robbie the Robot, in sequence of your code, um, it runs top to bottom. So if you have script tag near the top, it runs before the ones near the bottom. That's true inside of HTML and, and uh, JavaScript as well. Um, so I'm just going to go right in, I guess. Uh, this code executes when the page is loaded. And that's an important thing to remember, that when you open the page inside of your browser, all the scripts that are in the page run right at that time. Um, and so We'll talk a little bit later about how you can make it so that there's stuff that you want to run after the page is loaded, how you can make that happen. But it's important to know that anything you just put inside the script, everything you put inside the script tag runs as soon as the page is loaded. And we're going to go ahead and give you an example of that right now um, by using something called a JavaScript alert box. And I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. And because this is always refreshing whenever I change code, it automatically jumped up, uh, popped up. So inside my script tag, I'm going to put window alert. JavaScript is great. This is coming from an example in the book. And if the refresh button down here does the same thing as loading the page. So when I hit refresh, you'll notice this pop up just pops right up with a little box here that says JavaScript is great. And that is the JavaScript window alert function. All it does is pop up a box. Um, and 
you could put multiples in here and basically everything in here if I copied this down here and change this to now we're gonna get two but if I change this to say JavaScript um, in the body you'll notice that when I hit enter it reloads the thing and it says JavaScript is great which runs up here and then the next one it runs JavaScript in the body so that's just a brief introduction as to where you put your JavaScript inside of your code and um, I want to talk a little bit here about um, well let's go ahead and just end, end this screencast here in the next screencast we're going to talk a little bit about um, how we can get our JavaScript and our HTML to interact with each other and as you go throughout your readings this week that'll become that'll come in really handy